Hi everyone. Welcome to episode 2 of Budget Breakdown 2023. While the income tax slabs, the surcharge cess and rebates under the old tax regime have not changed, the government has made a significant push towards the new tax regime. Up until now, the old tax regime was the default and if any individual taxpayer wanted to opt for the new tax regime, they have to explicitly choose it. Whereas going forward, it is the new tax regime that will be the default option and any individual taxpayer who wishes to choose the old tax regime must explicitly opt for it. While the income tax rates, the surcharge, the cess and the rebate under the old tax regime have not changed, the government has made a significant push towards the promotion of the new tax regime. In 2020, the government introduced the new tax regime with an alternate slab rates for individual taxpayers. Now, these slabs have also been revised under the new tax regime. The revised slabs are as follows: for taxable incomes up to three lakhs, there shall be nil rate of tax. For income above three lakhs but up to six lakhs, they shall be charged at five percent. For incomes over six lakhs but up to nine lakhs, they shall be charged at ten percent. Incomes over nine lakhs but up to twelve lakhs shall be chargeable at fifteen percent, and incomes from twelve lakhs to fifteen lakhs shall be chargeable at twenty percent, and any income above fifteen lakhs shall be chargeable to tax at the rate of thirty percent. Further, for taxpayers who are earning an income of over five crores, have to presently pay thirty-seven percent surcharge on top of their income tax under both the old and the new tax regimes. To promote the new tax regime, this surcharge rate has been lowered. From 37% to 25%. Also, up until now, although both slabs are active, the old tax regime shall be the default option, and the individual taxpayer will have to choose the new tax regime if they want to follow the new slabs. However, going forward, the new tax regime shall be the default option, and if any taxpayer wants to follow the old slabs, they have to choose the old tax regime. This is again a benefit extended under the new tax regime only. Under the new tax regime, the rebate has been increased from twelve thousand five hundred to twenty five thousand, thus making it effectively no income tax up to an income of seven lakhs. However, under the old tax regime, the existing limit of twelve thousand five hundred will remain. So, under the old tax regime, if you are earning an income up to five lakhs, you will have no income tax. However, any income over five lakhs will become taxable. Up until now, no deduction was allowed to be claimed under the new tax regime. However, going forward, standard deduction of fifty thousand and deduction from family pension of rupees fifteen thousand shall both be allowed under the new tax regime also. So these benefits are available under both old and new tax regimes. 